Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. I really missed you guys last week. I am trying to post more consistently but I've been working really hard on something that doesn't require painting and so I didn't really have much to show you but what I wanted to share with you guys is that I am working on my website. I am so excited to be launching it very soon. I will certainly let you know of the official date once I have it but I've been building it and working on it and it has just been so exciting for me because I get a lot of questions about if I sell my art, when I'll sell my art and I think it's time. I think it's time that these paintings find their ways to their new homes. I really get to share my art with you guys and I'm just so so excited about this new chapter. But we're here today with a painting process in the midst of working on my website and going through all my old paintings. I found this little guy and if you've been following me since I painted this please comment down below because you are the best i did a mini swan series back in 2021 crazy i just thought this painting was so beautiful and i thought it'd be interesting to recreate that today As I share the process with you, I wanted to talk a little bit about the website that I'm working on. I will be sharing a couple of old paintings, they'll all be originals, and throughout the year, I have this idea of working on a mini studio sale. So. The paintings will be at a smaller scale and they'll be more affordable for those who can't purchase the bigger paintings. I myself, I love collecting paintings from artists that I really love and I can't afford to buy the big ones as much as I would love to so whenever they have a mini studio sale I always make an effort to go on there and try and grab one if I can. So I thought it'd just be a perfect way for me to also do the same thing and be able to connect with more people and my paintings. Since I'm still in the early stages of building my website, if you have any suggestions at all, please let me know down in the comments, especially if there are any paintings that are your absolute favorites and you would love to see on the website, please let me know and I'll definitely consider adding anything that I haven't thought of already.
I remember getting a lot of comments back when I did the mini swan series that everybody really really loved it and I really held that close to my heart and never forgot it because at the time I think I was still very much in the learning stage. I was trying to learn certain aspects of painting still and I didn't really want to dive deep into projects or series yet. It was kind of something I was just trying out. But now that we're here, three years later, I feel more comfortable with taking that step and solidifying my projects and series. So I wanted to revisit that idea of a swan series. Hopefully it will be part of the first mini studio sale. So keep your eyes open for that if you've been wanting one of my swan paintings. For this painting, I really was mindful about adding more colors to the painting because if you look at my old painting, it's pretty uh, blue and gray. There's not a lot of warmth going on here and the reference photo honestly pretty much looks like that. It looks really dull. The swans look very gray, but I wanted to bring more life into the painting. I wanted to feel more dreamlike, more fairy tale like. I really wanted this mood to come through. So, it's something that I tried in this painting and you'll definitely see me go through different stages and layers of color variations in my painting because I didn't really know what was going to work for me until I tried it so I had a really fun time combining a lot of colors together and in the end I feel like it comes off very dreamy and princess-like almost and I'm, I'm really happy about the painting. Here is the finished painting. I really hope that you enjoyed this painting process. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and I'll see you here very soon.